The healthcare community is already feeling the impact of this coronavirus surge with more patients in more hospitals. And now, one Ohio County's morgue is overcrowded and the bodies need to go somewhere. We told you just weeks ago this was becoming a big problem all across Northeast Ohio. Tonight, News 5's Amanda Van Allen tells us how the state is stepping in to help. The bodies are piling up and there's no place for them to go. Over the uh, Thanksgiving weekend, we became completely filled out here at the morgue. Dr. Anthony Burden is the Stark County coroner. He says he reached out to the state with his overcrowding issue and they gave him this. It's a refrigerated trailer where he can store extra bodies and Dr. Burton says he needs it. This year at Thanksgiving time, we exceeded 600 cases here at Stark County Morgue. A year ago, we were at uh, 535, so we're, we're way ahead on the number of cases we're seeing. The coroner says the uptick in deaths is not because of folks dying from COVID directly. It's the circumstances surrounding it. The uh, fallout we're seeing from COVID as far as the increased suicides, domestic violence, and uh, alcohol-related deaths. Dr. Burton says his office is also seeing an increase of cases where there's no family to claim the body. We have to store those bodies until we can get a disposition as to what to do with the bodies. The morgue, where there's room for 12 bodies in the coolers and four in the freezer, is filled. So this trailer will make room for 18 more. I'd like to keep it here for at least the next uh, three to four weeks. When Dr. Burton reached out to the state, local hospitals were overwhelmed too. But now a spokesperson for Mercy Medical Center says it's doing okay now. Quote, at this time, the morgues at Mercy Medical Center have capacity, so there is no issue. Mercy continues to work with the Stark County Emergency Management Agency to address any future problems that might arise. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.